Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and welcome to day 11. Hi, I hope you're doing great today. Let's bring our hands together in front of the heart and take a moment here to set an intention for our practice, and you set any intention you like. And then let's roll on forward and make our way onto hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Take an inhale, bring the chest forward, lift the chin and tailbone. Exhale, press away from the floor and round the back. Inhale, again, chest forward, lift the chin and tailbone. Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale. I'm gonna bring the front of the body longer. Exhale, and stretch out the back of the body. And once more, inhale. And exhale to round the back. Now walk your hands forward about a handprint. Spread out the fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes under, lift up and back into downward dog. And for this one, go ahead and bicycle your legs. Bend one knee and the other. So start to warm up. Now be sure your arms are shoulders distance apart and your feet are hips distance. And now we'll inhale to plank pose, top of a push up. Knees down, shift forward about an inch. And lower to the belly. All the way down on the belly, untuck the toes, you're on the tops of your feet. And tailbone's gonna reach to heels. Inhale, peel the chest up and reach the fingertips toward the back of your mat. Keep the belly drawing in. And then release. And take a little rest for a moment. So we'll press the pubic bone down just lightly into the floor and pick up the belly. Bring your arms by your ears. Lift your left, I'm sorry, right arm, left leg. Right arm, left leg lifts. And keep the belly lifted and then release it. And same thing on the other side. So inhale, left arm and right leg. Left arm, right leg. And again, pick up the belly and press the pubic bone down into the floor a little. That'll lengthen the tailbone toward the heels. Release it. And inhale, right arm, left leg. So now press a little more on the left arm, right leg to lift up. The one that's on the floor. Release. And left arm, right leg. And again, if you press what's on the floor, you can lift up maybe a little bit higher. And then we'll release that. And interlace your fingers behind your back or hook your thumbs. Inhale, lift up. This time we'll add the legs. Lift the legs from the inner thighs. Keep the back of the neck long and release and lower. So then we'll unhook the hands and then rehook with the other pinky or thumb on top. Lift up and tailbone to heels, pubic bone down, back of the neck long, and release. Hands by low ribs. Inhale, cobra. Or come into up dog or high cobra. And then roll over the toes or tuck the toes, lift the hips downward facing dog. Draw the belly in and up, pull up on the kneecaps, firm the quadricep muscles. Keep stretching the weight back, look up. Step the feet forward, take an inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold as much as you can. Now hands to hips, inhale, come all the way up to standing. Let's find our Tadasana at the front of the mat. Now I'm gonna grab my blocks. And I've got two of them. So if you have blocks, get it handy. You just need one today. So I'm going to turn the right leg all the way out, the back toes in a little, and line up front heel and back arch. Now arms to a T. Shift the hips back, lean as far forward as you can. Bring the right hand down to the block and stretch up through the left arm. If you don't have a block, it's fine. You can always put your right hand on the shin. Press into the base of the big toe of the right foot as you draw your right sitting bone under you, as if you're leaning gently against a wall behind your back. Stretch out the torso, especially from the right hip through the right armpits. 
and then inhale to come up and we'll take the block over to the other side left leg all the way out back toes in still lined up heel to arch inhale arms to a T and shift the hips back leaning forward forward get the length there left hand down right arm up it's so going to reach the crown of the head forward and then turn the head to look up if it bothers your neck then look forward or down pull up on the kneecaps firming the quadriceps but be sure that you're not locking out your knee joints so we want to keep the legs active and press the calf toward the shin and into the base of the big toe of the left foot and inhale to come up and then block to center if you have it hands to hips toes in a little so feet are parallel inhale lengthen exhale to fold and once again lengthen on the inhale and hands to block or floor it's going to keep uh, the right hand down reach the left arm up and twist if you want to go deeper you can take the right hand over toward the left foot for a deeper twist not only if that feels appropriate and then back to center lengthen inhale keep your left hand in the center of the mat and right arm up and again inhale to create some length and if you want to go deeper left hand over toward right foot so stretching out the spine here and then back to center inhale to lengthen as you exhale hands to hips inhale come all the way back up and now toes out heels in and we'll start to bend the knees. I want to apologize for the noise in the background. That's our little Elmer kitty, little kitten, and he found a plastic bag to play with. So tailbone's lengthening down, hip bones are lifting, and gently rock side to side. We want our knees and middle toes lined up. And reach up through the arms, spin the triceps forward, palms will face each other. This will be a little more challenging. Maybe lower a little more and then slowly straighten the legs. And then step or hop the feet together and come back to the front of the mat. Back to Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees deep. Utkatasana, sit in your imaginary chair. Exhale and fold forward, crown of the head reaching down. Inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale back, plank pose. Knees can be up or down and we'll lower all the way, actually halfway, shoulders no lower than elbows. Inhaling, upward dog or cobra. Exhaling, down dog. Right leg up as you inhale. Now exhale, step it all the way up. If it doesn't make it there, pick it up and put it. I'm gonna stand the ball of the back foot, right knee over ankle, crescent pose. Drop the tailbone and lift the hip points up. So I usually bend the back knee a little to do it. Release, down, plank pose. You can stay in plank or drop the knees lower halfway shoulders no lower than elbows inhale cobra or up dog and then exhale to the knees lift the hips down dog left leg up inhale from the inner thigh level hips step it all the way up by your left hand stand the ball of your back foot for high lunge and you can bend the back knee a little bit tilt the pelvis forward pull the left hip back and now you're lengthening through the lower back as you stretch up through all four sides of your waist arrow straight arms looking up maybe just a little and then exhale the hands back down and step back to plank you can go right to down dog or chaturanga knees can be up or down shoulders no lower than elbows up dog on the inhale down dog on the exhale and let's breathe here gazing between the knees or the feet spin the inner thighs back like you're holding a block between the inner thighs and then look forward come all the way through and sit and now onto the back heels are right underneath the knees now feet are hips distance apart arms are by your sides inhale lift into bridge pose roll the shoulders under interlace the fingers if you can you could also hook the thumbs or keep the arms straight on to the floor. Breathe here, reaching tailbone towards backs of knees, lifting the belly, and keep the outer edges of the feet parallel. And then come on down, rest a moment, take the soles of the feet together and drop your knees apart for the Supta Baddha Konasana is the name of this one. It's a nice resting pose to do in between back bends. Let's set up again for bridge pose. Feet are parallel, heels under knees. 
press into the heels, lift up, interlace, other pinky or thumb, rolling the shoulders under, keep the chin lengthening away from the chest, but keep the chest moving toward the chin. Spiral the thighs in toward each other and breathe. Release to lower and again, soles of feet together, knees apart in Supta Baddha Konasana. Just a little rest here. Let's take the feet again, setting up for one more bridge. Come on up, feet are hips width, lifting up, spiral the thighs in toward each other like you're holding a block. And breathe here. Make sure the feet stay parallel. The toes will point in just a tiny bit toward each other. And then release. This time we'll hug the knees into the chest and gently rock side to side, giving the lower back a little massage. And now roll yourself off to your right side and with your left hand, press on up to seated. Extending the legs in front. This is called Dandasana. Now, if your back is a little bit rounded or it's hard to sit up tall, you'll want to sit up on the edge of a block or even better, a blanket, a pillow, a towel. And that way you won't be rounding the back. You'll be lengthening nice and tall. Okay, pull the toes back and that will keep the legs firm, dandasana. This one is, looks easy, but it's not. So if you stay in here for a few breaths with, with active legs and you're working your back muscles, you'll start to feel it. Now we'll bend the right knee, right so the foot onto the floor, bring the right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm up, get nice and tall and exhale, take it across and twist. Or, if you can't reach quite, you can hug your right leg instead. On an inhale, lengthen tall. On an exhale, roll the right shoulder back and twist. Keep the left leg active. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, release. Now bend the left knee, left hand behind. Right arm up on the inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring it across and twist. Or, hug that left leg instead. Every inhale, see if you can grow a little bit taller, and every exhale, see if you can twist maybe a little bit deeper. Keeping every breath steady. Inhale, bring the head to center. Exhale to unwind both legs in front. Now if you have a strap handy, you can get that strap handy for Paschimottanasana. Inhale, reach tall with the arms, lengthen. Hinge from the hips, so get as long as you can. Reach for the feet or grab your strap. Then lengthen with the inhale as you exhale. So instead of rounding and trying to get forward, we're going to lead with the chest. So belly toward thighs. And then a strap is really helpful. So instead of rounding the back, we want to lengthen the spine. And breathing here. Nice steady gaze at the feet helps to keep the mind busy with that instead of jumping around. Take another breath. Inhale, head up. Exhale to release. And come on to the back. Let's roll down onto your back. And we're making our way into Shavasana. So let the feet flop open, arms by your sides, palms face up. Close your eyes and rest. I'll be back in a moment. And while you're resting, we're quote from the same book, seven. Look around. Life is here and it is now. We can't let it simply slip away. Possibilities for adventure, beauty, contribution, and goodness are everywhere. And you really can make time for them. Remember, happiness is always in your hands.
Start to take some deeper breaths. Hopefully your happiness is in your hands when you do your practice. Yoga is like a medicine. Every day, every day we take our medicine. Start to make movements through the hands and the feet. Stretch out through the arms and the legs. And then bend the knees. Roll yourself off to the right. And with your left hand, you'll gently press yourself up to seat it. And find a nice comfortable seat, bringing the hands together and hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions and hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communication. Thank you so much for joining today. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Please uh, push the like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you would like to be part of our community, and I hope you do. And check out fightmasteryoga.com to join our mailing list so that you can keep abreast of all the things that we are doing. If you can support us, there is a donation button at the website or a link below. And most importantly, have a great day. Bye-bye.